Hey guys, Nurse Mike here and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Check out our brand new app and get access to our new pharmacology and med surge mastery courses. Plus, a massive quiz bank loaded with detailed rationales to test your knowledge. Join for free. Click the link in our description below. Now, antidepressants, the big mamas here. We have SSRIs, SNRIs, TCAs, and MAOIs. Now, we'll be covering these one by one, but first, let's cover the four rules to antidepressants. Since the NCLEX will not test you directly on the mode of action, or basically how the drug works, rather, it tests safety on how the drug will harm or kill the patient. So, guys, we'll be focusing on the need to know for the NCLEX, not just the nice to knows. So, these four universal principles are NCLEX patient safety. Number one, increased risk of suicide. As antidepressants elevate the mood, it gives the patients more energy. Energy to go out and carry out the suicide. So a big thing to write down is that antidepressants can actually increase suicidal thoughts in the first few weeks of treatment. And the big risk is for young adults, 18 to 24 years old. So we always, key term here, notify the provider of any suicidal thoughts and always clarify any new prescription. Guys, we're monitoring the clients for keywords. New thoughts of suicide, unusual behavior, worsening depression, or sudden changes in mood. These patients are the most at risk for suicide. Now, number two is the slow onset and the slow taper off. Never stop abruptly. They're taken for a few weeks to reach that therapeutic range. So educate patients when saying, this med is not working after the first week, or they're also saying something about sexual dysfunction. Patients need to know about this first so they won't stop taking the drug. Now, third is we never mix these key words here. SSRIs with St. John's wort and MAOIs with any other antidepressants. We're talking TCAs, SSRIs, even SNRIs. Guys, this could lead to deadly serotonin syndrome. So, Two-week washout period is needed. Guys, keyword there, two weeks. Write that down. Keywords, never start a new antidepressant while tapering off an MIOI or another. So just coming off the day before is a big no-no. Always a taper off and never mix. Now, point number four is all psychiatric drugs usually decrease the blood pressure. So we teach slow position changes for risk for falling and causes weight changes mostly weight gain. Now, first up are the SSRIs, sertraline, cetylopram, and escitalopram. Guys, those came up the most often on all the quiz banks. But we also have paroxetine and fluoxetine. Now, SSRIs are given mainly for depression, anxiety, and PTSD. Now, the mode of action is quite simple. Typically not tested on the NCLEX, but it could come up on pharmacology exams. So guys, just let the name help you. For SSRIs, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. Basically inhibits the reuptake of serotonin, keeping more around. So serotonin levels are increased in the body. Now the four common side effects, which usually improve after three months. Number one is weight gain. Number two, which is a big one, sexual side effects. The key point, and always on the NCLEX, write this down, sexual dysfunction. So just remember, sertraline causes sexual dysfunction. And there's no sedation. So don't be tricked. SSRIs usually cause insomnia. Now, priority key points. We use the acronym SSRI. S for the suicide risk that is increased when starting the med or changing the dose. Again, high risk is age 18 to 24. And a key priority to monitor, big key point right here, report more energy without change in depression. Guys, huge risk for suicide. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys, see you next time.